Tower of Time certainly isn't a perfect tactical RPG, but it comes pretty damn close, especially given its price point. There's engaging, interesting combat, a well-written story, an interesting take on questing, skill trees, beautiful environments to explore, tons of loot like loot everywhere, city building, training of characters, challenges that yield great rewards, crafting weapons, enchanting, upgrading, a non-intrusive UI, fast traveling and cutscenes that really move the plot. The story starts with you as a little kid, exploring this magnificent tower. It mesmerizes you and draws you to the mysterious voice inside. Years later, after civil wars and you serving in the army, you ask your king permission to return to that tower you remember from the past. Your request is granted, two warriors are assigned to you and then the game starts. Tower of Time takes place in three different zones, or levels if you will. The first zone is the city, which is basically your hub. It's very comparable to Cat Nua in Pillars of Eternity. Here you can train your champions, learn new skills, upgrade buildings, upgrade equipment, basically everything to prepare your party for the journey ahead. You don't typically spend a lot of time here, but keeping your heroes trained and well equipped is essential if you want to survive. The second zone is the Tower of Time itself. You're running around on these beautiful levels which are a joy to traverse because of great level design. Here you find items, resolve quests, but mostly you explore. Tower of Time is very much about exploration, which is clear from looking at the map, for example. Every nook and corner could potentially hold new goodies, a new recipe or a new blueprint for a building upgrade in your base. Loot comes in different tiers and rarities, with the common rarity of the next tier usually being an upgrade to the legendary item of the previous tier, making loot always rewarding. The third level is the combat, which takes place in separate arenas after encountering enemies in the tower. The combat in this RPG is some of the best in its genre, although it cannot avoid also getting repetitive at some point. You can slow down time, instead of pausing it, to allow you to issue orders to your team members. This way the combat flows and feels immersive, although maybe a little bit less deep compared to its turn-based counterparts. Strategy, tactics, spells, but most of all positioning is extremely important in battle and the battle mechanics are executed in such a way that it offers a ton of ways to defeat your foes. Using line of sight to break spells, for example. Or creating walls so enemies need to take a different path to reach you. It's a mix between turn-based combat, tap target MMORPG and a MOBA, but it works surprisingly well. There's a lot to like about this game as I'm sure you've noticed, so let me point out three things that really stood out for me. First, the combat. Because of the mechanics, the endless amount of different enemies, the tactics involved, making use of constantly evolving spells and ever-changing arenas, there was never a moment where I felt the combat itself was dull. It did get somewhat repetitive, but combat itself is usually enjoyable. Tower of Time really keeps you on your toes though, with entertaining, interesting and challenging combat, and the difficulty can be adjusted on the fly as well. An extension of the regular battles are the challenges, playable in the city, offering great rewards but also posing great threats. Second, progression. To me, progression is an essential component in games like these, because they take a while to complete. If you don't have the feeling your group and party members are improving, then a big part of an RPG is lost. Tower of Time offers so many ways of progression though, from the intricate skill system which allows for much experimenting, to the endless stream of loot. Every 5 to 10 minutes you find something new that you can either use or disenchant. Or you find a forge allowing you to upgrade a level of an item, or a scroll providing attribute points to a character. It's insane the amount of stuff you're getting in this game and what's impressive about it is that it all remains balanced and fresh. The third, story. The story itself is interesting, telling about a world where magic has slowly taken over, it consumed the world until there was mostly darkness. It's well told and although in-game voice acting isn't there, which is a shame, the cutscenes make up for that loss. Here's a small part. Descending the stairs led me to a crystal throne which glittered with swirling light. I felt strangely compelled to approach and sit. As I took my place upon it, a sudden torrent of light enveloped me. The illumination overwhelmed my senses. Also the way the story is executed is refreshing. You as a player are sitting on the throne in the top level of the tower. You're not actually fighting, no, you brought some of the king's men, right? 
They're doing the dirty work for you while you, as some sort of overlord, quite literally, are issuing commands. You see through the eyes of your party members because of a magical bond. It's a very original take on this genre and explains why you are controlling your characters in the first place. The game even refers to this whole setup as a game, at some point, which I thought was rather clever. Subscribe for more cheap gaming content, thanks for watching and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye bye.